Hi there, my name is Gretchen Wise. I've been a park ranger with the National Park Service since 2012, and for the last five years, I've worked here in beautiful Zion National Park as a member of the Division of Interpretation, Education, and Visitor Services. Lots of people want to know, how does somebody become a ranger? In fact, that's one of the most significant questions that we get asked at the visitor center. How do you become a park ranger? And I think Many of our visitors expect us to answer that you need advanced degrees in environmental studies or wildlife biology or public ma lands management. And while that is true for a lot of my colleagues, um, many, many rangers do have those advanced degrees, it is not true for everybody and it is certainly not true for me. When I was in high school, I did not gravitate towards STEM. The sciences and mathematics and technology classes were not something that interested me and I didn't spend an awful lot of time in them. I prefer to enter and interact with the world through the arts. And so when it came time for me to decide what I wanted to major in in college, I decided to, to get a degree in dance. I've always been drawn to the arts. I love dance and music. When I was in high school, I played in the orchestra and I sang in our choir and I auditioned every year for the high school musical. I took drawing and painting and photography classes and that is where my heart truly lies um, in the visual and performance arts. Last year, when the park had to shut down at the beginning of April due to the pandemic, before we reopened with COVID protocols in place, my colleagues and I were looking for ways to still um, invite visitors to come into the park virtually and experience the glories of Zion. And one of the things that I did was create uh, an art walk where I took the virtual visitor into our museum collection storage space and showed them some of the art that was associated with the early days of Zion National Park. Artists like Frederick Samuel Dellenbaugh and Thomas Moran and Howard Russell Butler were some of the first people to create art here in Zion National Park and use that art to introduce the world to the glories of Zion. It was a truly exceptional experience for me to be able to walk into that space and stand next to those paintings that have been so influential in Zion's history. For me, art is something that takes me outside myself it introduces me to new perspectives and new ideas and new places that I wouldn't be able to go on my own. And art helps to remind me that the world that we live in is so much more richly colored than I could even possibly imagine.